Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. So, when I last left off, I was doing the base defense mission. It's going quite well so far, I should be roughly halfway through the mission. I should get my fifth soldier very very soon, and that should be Lisbeth. Meanwhile, I got some chrysalis incoming, so I'm just going to overwatch on everyone. That's pretty much the best move in this situation, because they have to come attack me. I might want to reload this one. But yeah, other than that, overwatch on everyone. So bring it on. I still got all of my medkit uses. I got 4 medkit uses for 10 health each. Oh yeah, I forgot about that cyber disc, right. There's one more cyber disc. If Tony can see it, that shouldn't be a big problem. Yeah, my bird's personal person died, but that's not really a problem. The only problem might be that these other people will panic and shoot me in the back which is not exactly ideal. They can't hit for a lot, but if all of them fire at you, you can take a little bit of damage on your actual proper soldiers. And that's a little bit annoying. Eva can tank that. Now might be a good moment to use collateral damage, because I'm pretty sure that thing will blow up. That chrysalid should die right about now. There we go. Didn't need a crit there, but hey, it's dead. So I should have two more waves after this, I think. We'll see. So I might want to heal Tony. He took six damage and he doesn't have a lot of health. Yeah, this guy panicked. Yeah, Tony is down to 10 health. I should probably heal him up a little bit. And I might want to move him as well. Yeah, because he's just standing there in the open. Yeah, I'm going to move him here. Hunker down and heal him with Magnus. That means I will lose some firepower on this turn, but I'm not going to risk losing my soldiers. Especially my most valuable soldiers. And let's see, I'm pretty sure I can kill that Muton. Possibly. And if not, I can do a, a lot of damage to him. So... Okay, like this. This will destroy his cover. Or it will do at least 6 damage to him. This should blow up. Or not. On the next turn, I guess. No, it did. Yeah, nice cover. So, he's down to one health. That's a little bit unfortunate. I could kill him with a grenade now. So, that's what I'm going to do. That's a good use for the rookies. That's granted free damage. He will die. So, there we go. The grenades are the most useful part of the rookies. Because, obviously, that's granted damage. Not a lot of it, but it can make a difference. 89%. Oh yeah, I forgot about that cyber disc. I still need to get rid of it. But I can't see it, so that means it can't see me either. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to reposition Anton though. Yeah, there's the cyber disc, so... I'll just hunker down on Tony. Yep. So that cyber disc will probably attack Anton. It can't see any of my other soldiers. Maybe the rookies. Yeah, it's attacking the rookies, so... Exactly what I said earlier. The aliens have the tendency to attack the weakest soldiers. So they perceive the base personnel as the weakest targets. Because they only have free health. Okay, I should get Lisbeth on the next turn. Let's get rid of that cyber disc. That's a bit low. Yeah, it's getting elevated position bonus right now. To both aim and defense. And that's a little bit annoying. But let's try one more time. With the gene mod. Okay, nice. I need one more hit. Tony should be able to get rid of that cyber disc. 89, 85%. I do have double tap available, so... I'm going to kill this chrysalid first. And then use double tap to try destroying that cyber disc. I just did a hit. Yep, he's going down. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that was the last alien in that general area. I already said that once, but I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. Alright, overwatch on everyone or reload on Eva. Reload on Magnus. Yeah, even with ammo conservation project, you can run out of ammo very quickly sometimes. Another wave incoming. There's one more wave after this, I think. Although I'm not 100% sure about that. I lost track of how many waves exactly there are. 
Yeah, that's not exactly dangerous. I'm pretty sure it's not possible to get sectopods and mutanelis right now for me. Because again, the alien types are randomized to some extent, but at this stage of the game I can't get sectopods or mutanelis yet. I thought I'll get Lisbeth, but hey, Zhang is not exactly bad. So let's move up a little bit. I can't see anything yet, but I can overwatch. I'll just move up. There's no reason not to. These are much better positions. And now this part is actually a little bit easier, because I will get the high ground bonus against a lot of these aliens. So that will make it significantly easier with bonus to both at both aim and defense. Okay, I can see you right there. There we go, nice. I could throw two grenades right now and kill him. Not a terrible idea, I think I will. I'm on my way. Yeah, I will. I'm pretty sure I'm close enough to throw two grenades. Yeah, I am. I just need to move outside. I'm on the move. Not the best use of two grenades I've ever seen in my life, but hey, that's a granted kill. And that mutant is a little bit close for my taste, so he would get the proximity aim bonus if he tried to attack me now, and I'm only using partial cover, so I prefer to get rid of him, I could actually just go there and hit him now. Alright, so now he will die. There we go, he's dead. So, I still got some chrysalis incoming, I think. Just overwatch on everyone. Move and reload. I shouldn't get any more aliens coming from this direction, so it should be safe to position like this. I'm on the move. I still got quite a few grenades. Overwatch on Tony. Alright, bring it on. I still got three uses of the medkit on Magnus. And I have the medkit on Tony as well, so I could actually heal Eva. Not a terrible idea. Okay, this is the last wave apparently. If we can take him out. HQ will be secure. I thought there's going to be one more wave after this, but apparently not. Alright, so as I said before, I'm just going to wait here. There's no reason to rush the aliens. They will come to you. After all, they are assaulting your base, not the other way around. So the safest way to do it is to, is to just wait here. That's exactly what I'm doing. Not the most exciting way of handling this mission ever. But it is the safest way of handling this mission. Might as well reload on Tony. Overwatch on everyone. So bring it on. And hey, the best part about this is that I'm going to get quite a bit of meld. Because I had, what, several mech toys already? And one mech toy is five meld. Overwatch on everyone. I'm still going to get one more soldier, because I got five right now, so I should get Lisbeth, still. Come on, don't be shy. The welcoming committee is here. Here they come, that's just the drone. Yeah, and he's going to trigger all of my reaction shots. <laughs> and they didn't even destroy it, what, really? Even Tony missed? Come on, Tony, you're better than that now. Yeah, one health. Maybe my rookies will kill it, and they will. Nice. Yeah, rookie Flores has earned a promotion, <laughs> but that's a bit useless. Overwatch again. I'm going to heal Eva. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Great. Move back. That was a bit of a waste of turn. I thought I had Magnus selected, but I did not. So now she's back to full health. And I'm well prepared for what looks like the last wave. So Overwatch. Bring it on. I expected more aliens here. I think you always get the same number of aliens, but I don't remember what that number is. And obviously I'm not counting them. And I wonder if drones count towards that. They probably do. But obviously drones are not very dangerous. But even if I got harder alien types, this wouldn't be a very hard mission. Again, as I said, this mission is only hard if you don't know what to expect and you're not prepared. 
with Titan armor and plasma weapons, this is definitely easier than some of the other missions I did in this playthrough. Like the whale mission with the chrysalis. That was pretty damn hard. Especially since it came fairly early in the game for me. That was definitely that was definitely harder than this. So much for that sectoid. Heck, the alien base assault was kind of harder than this. Then again, I didn't take my strongest squad to alien base assault, so that's not a very fair comparison, I suppose. Come on, don't be shy. I'm waiting for you with the present. Yeah, there are the mutants still. There's something out there. They should come, like soon. I'm going to throw a battle scanner. Scanning my own base. There we go. I might be able to see something like this. I still won't be rushing them, because yeah, they will come to me. Okay, so that's the sectoid commander. I should be able to hit him on the next turn with Tony. Unless he moves out of line of sight, which is always a possibility. I didn't even use a rocket in this mission yet. So I got two rockets available still. Yep, here they come. That's the cyber disk. And the sectoid commander. There we go. The rookies are firing. So the sectoid commanders didn't even get a chance to try using mind control. Okay, now they did. They are mind con he is mind controlling Eva. Yeah, that's the downside of the mech troopers. You can't use gene mods on them, so you can't make them immune to mind control. But killing that sectoid commander shouldn't be a big problem. I think I'm actually going to use a rocket. I might be able to hit the mechtoid, the sectoid commander and the cyber disk in the back. Yes, I'm pretty sure I can do that. So, let's see, Zhang is the closest. No, I can't reach the cyber disk. Okay, that's a bit annoying then. I was hoping to do some... I am almost close enough to the cyber disk. Wow, look at this. He's like at the edge. Oh well, I think I'm still going to use it anyway. Let's see Tony, maybe Tony will get a nice crit on that sectoid commander. Headshot. Okay, I can't even target the Sectoid Commander. I can target the Cyber Disk. Okay, it's definitely time for a rocket. Even though I can't hit the Cyber Disk, but I need that rocket. Don't miss. Well, even if he misses, that rocket should hit the Sectoid Commander anyway. There we go. And that's also 12 damage to the Mechtoid, obviously. Because I have hit ammo and mayhem. So that's 8 base damage and then plus 50%. Alright, let's kill that sectoid commander. He's going down. But this is the reason why I'm using the neural dumping gene mod on all or most of my soldiers in here. You can get more sectoid commanders than I did. And it's sometimes hard to avoid this. Okay, headshot. I don't think cyber discs have a head. But whatever, 19 damage. I think that's the max possible damage. I do have double tap. I could totally try to destroy that with a rookie. Or I can just take a shot with Tony. Yeah, that's 100% chance to hit. So he's going down. Was that the last alien? Nope, it wasn't. Not yet. Okay. There can't be many more left though. Yeah, I can hear some mutants still. What was that? So I didn't actually get Lisbeth in this mission, I thought I will, but obviously these are all max rank soldiers. So I knew I'm going to get max rank soldiers, just wasn't 100% sure which ones. Overwatch. So in my opinion this mission could have been harder if it wasn't possible to get high ground on the aliens because this part specifically is easier than it should have been due to the fact you can get high ground easily. So it's partially a map design issue, at least in my opinion. Unless they wanted to give you that kind of advantage but I don't necessarily agree with that. 
Okay, well, they should come. I don't really want to rush them, to be honest. I probably could at this point. But Overwatch one more turn. If they don't come, I'll just send Eva to scout forward a little bit. What? Do you hear something? Yes, I heard something. Alright, let's go deal with it then. Oh yeah, he's down here. Alright, what? Was he here the entire time? That's a little bit funny. Is that the last alien in this mission? I think it might be. So... I don't have alloy cannon to the face, unfortunately. <laughs> that would be nice. I can just take a shot with Emma. 71%, he's going down. So is this the last alien? No, it's not, okay. Overwatch, one more turn. I do have one more battle scanner. Come on. Oh, there's one more alien that way. I thought I killed everything that way, but apparently I didn't. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So that's probably the last alien right there now. I thought I killed everything this way, but apparently I didn't. So it's probably something like this Milton. Just some alien hiding in the corner somewhere. He's obviously scared of me. I can't blame him. Let's go there then. I have no idea what alien that is, so... I am going to be careful and just move you overwatch. In case it's something nasty and moves towards me. Come on, Tony. I could just throw a battle scanner. I don't think I'm going to see anything, but hey, who knows. Let's just throw it up here. Maybe I'll see something up there. Oh yeah, okay, so that's just a regular drone. Not very dangerous, to say the least. I might just blow it up with the rocket launcher. Alright. Overwatch on these guys. Come on, Zhang. No, you're not there yet. Is it moving? No. Rocket launcher time? Maybe. I can just move here and then use a rocket launcher, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last alien. So, a bit of an overkill using rocket launcher against a drone. But, whatever. Can I see it? I can't even see it anymore. Oh yeah, that's because the battle scanner is gone, is it? But if I use that rocket launcher, I should hit it easily. This should hit it easily. Just trying to not hit myself in the face with my own rocket launcher. That would be bad. And it's down. Is it over? Yes, it's over. So, 31 aliens killed, I only lost one base personnel rookie. I'm quite happy with that outcome, but as I s Anyway, let's check the cinematic. I'll leave the cinematic in the video. Hang in there, soldier. Having to fight our own people. Will he be okay, doctor? Yes, I believe he'll recover. And more importantly, he seems to be free from outside control. Is there any indication of how this happened, Doctor? I finished our initial scans, and so far, I found no physical abnormalities. We already know the aliens are capable of some kind of mind control, Doctor. Yes, but that doesn't explain the lack of a nearby controlling alien, or the sheer number of victims. If the aliens were capable of launching an attack of this scale previously, I believe they would have. Perhaps this was a one-time opportunity. That might be true, but we still need to find out how this was possible. Another day? Alright, so that's it. I do have to say that... I'm a little bit underwhelmed, considering how hyped up the base defense mission was. Again, it's a matter of when exactly in the game you're going to do it. If you do it very early, before you have the high-end equipment, it's very hard. If you know what it takes to beat the mission and prepare properly, like I did, it's a little bit too easy, or at least easier than I expected. And let's check that medal. I do believe that medal will give me a bonus to the entire squad. 
Assign power, yes. Entire squad receives plus 5 will and plus 5 defense in battle. Or, all soldiers in the squad at lieutenant rank or lower gain plus 25% XP. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. Plus 5 will and plus 5 defense in battle. The mutant elites are still very dangerous. And the sectopods are still very dangerous, so I prefer a bonus, a proper bonus, not plus 25% experience. So that's what I'm going to grab. I'm not sure who I'm going to award it to. Maybe to... actually, I don't know, I need to think about it. I could give it to Zhang. I could give it to Magnus, it doesn't really matter. It should be someone who will be in most missions. But either way, this part is done now, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.